Exactly. Okay, so we have the 14 French cook chest tube that we are going to use to instill some TPA and pulmozyme to try to break up a loculated effusion. So the chest tube already, obviously has already been inserted. So when you try to flush it, you just clean the side port, which is the access port. You can attach the syringe. There's a three-way stopcock which um, basically um, directs the flow of the chest tube. Right now it's open to like uh, flow from the patient into the tubing. When you want to flush the chest tube, you just turn it away from the patient. Whatever it's pointing to, that channel is off. So obviously now the flow is directed only between these, these two. So it flushes, and it flushes really easily. Don't need to necessarily do the whole syringe. You can just flip it and flush the rest into the tubing. Now we can go ahead and insert the medication. It does not matter. The TPA and the pulmozyme are prepared in two separate syringes, but it does not matter in what kind of um, it does not matter in what kind of uh, sequence they get uh, put in. So again, open up so that you can instill the medication into the patient so the channel to the tubing is off and you can instill it so that was the um, pulmozyme and now we're going to instill the TPA Again, it does not matter in what type of sequence they, they get instilled. Okay, and you just follow that with one final flush, so to make sure that it kind of goes through the catheter. And you leave practically the chest tube closed. As you see, the only ports that are open are the chest tube itself and the side port, but since there's nothing attached there, it's okay to just leave it this way or just off to the patient and let it dwell for one hour, at which point we've already instructed the nurse to just come and open it, turn it 90 degrees so that this channel again flows through.